Welcome to another edition of the Lodge's Cockpit, where we give you a bird's eye view of what the men and women of Lodge's Field have been up to. My name is Ricky Baptista, and I'm the Chief of Public Affairs for the 65th Air Base Group. So buckle up. And get ready for takeoff. As you may know, the 65th Air Base Group is a geographically separated unit. Our support wing, the 86th Air Lift Wing, located in Hamstein, Germany. Our wing commander, the 86th Air Lift Wing Commander, has joined us today uh, in the cockpit to talk a little bit about what the 86th mission is and how the 65th fits into it. So I'd like to welcome the 86th Air Lift Wing Commander, Brigadier General Josh Olson. General Olson, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks Thank for, you for joining me. us. Oh, it's my honor. What a great, absolutely great opportunity to be here, and thanks for letting me uh, come join you on this great show. Uh, if you could talk to us a little bit uh, about yourself, tell yeah. us kind of what you've been doing in the Air Force before you were the commander, what your uh, primary AFSC is. Sure. Uh, so, uh, Josh Olson um, grew up in a small town in Michigan. So that, that's kind of what defines me a little bit is, uh, you know, growing up one of five kids, uh, three older brothers and a little sister. And so a blue collar family. And uh, before uh, being the 86 Airlift Wing Commander, I was actually at US Transcom working with uh, General Steve Lyons out there. And then prior to that, I was the wing commander at McConnell Air Force Base in the 22nd Air Refueling Wing. Primary AFSC is uh, flying airplanes. And so I try so to do that. You're right at home. Right at home. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. I don't know about being a passenger. I'm a little bit, and I don't have my seatbelt on, but uh, I do like taking naps on airplanes, and so these seats aren't too bad. So yeah, uh, trying to fly airplanes, and so I've flown a few. Uh, C-130, grew up in the E model and H model, flew uh, some air refueling, KC-10, uh, KC-135, and the KC-46, and so got to see a few airplanes and got to travel around the Air Force for a few years. Wonderful. Uh, Michigan, huh? You a Red Wings fan? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, more of a Detroit Lions fan, okay. but the Red Wings are pretty awesome. I'm a Leafs fan, so yeah. we, we're arch enemies, exactly. but you know, that's uh, just in <laughs> hockey there. Uh, General, recently the 86th Air Lift Wing updated its, its mission and vision statements. It, it, Can you talk to us a little bit about that and how uh, you see the 65th Air Base Group incorporated in your overall strategic vision? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, a mission and a vision are, are pretty important pieces of any uh, strategic plan, if you will. And so with, um, you know, the 86 airlift wing at, in large is about right around 10 to 11,000 people with uh, lodges and uh, Maroon and Chevs and, you know, a few other outstations. Uh, we support up at Ramstein about 126 GSUs. And so uh, across about a hundred different countries and, and nationalities. So it's a pretty robust plan. And so being able to kind of give everyone that, that direction of what North is and so where, we're, where are we heading? And uh, not only what we do to today, right? So what we do each and every day is about our mission, where we're going, that's what vision is, right? And so being able to articulate that so that we can all row in the same direction, if you will, skate in the same direction uh, is very, very important. And so. Uh, that, that way we can all connect to where we put in our time, which is very, very valuable, and our resources. And so uh, with, our, with our vision, as far as the long pole in the tent, where we're going, it's about adaptive airmen ready to execute. And so uh, the bread and butter, the core to what we do is about our airmen. And our airmen, and that's capital A airmen, it doesn't matter if you're part of the 85% that are enlisted force or the 15% officer force, uh, our airmen are the, the secret sauce, if you will, of what makes us one of the most powerful uh, countries in the entire world. And so having, you know, as we talk about ready to execute, that execution piece is about readiness. And so mental, physical, spiritual readiness that, that they're ready. Uh, we ask a lot, you know, our, our military is the smallest it's ever been. And so being able to uh, balance and, you know, we talk about work-life balance and it's really more um, it's, it's finding where that fits in, in our lives and being able to take care of, sometimes you got to take a knee to take care of what's at home. And sometimes we're going to ask you to push up the throttles a little bit and do, and right now COVID's wearing on us. And so, uh, being able to balance while keeping our readiness, our country may call upon us and we need to be ready. And so that's really where we go. 
uh, how we do that, right, day in and day, day out, uh, really comes down to three uh, very, very important principles. And so the first one is about building airmen, and so this is our mission. Uh, it is about uh, projecting power, and then it's about supporting our partners. And so you, you asked a great question, what is, how does Lodges fit into that? Lodges is, is the, the perfect culmination of building airmen, right, supporting partners, and power projection. You know, there's, there's only a handful of 10,000 foot runways in the entire world. And you have one of the most beautiful ones and you have a great assault zone also. Uh, and so being able to project power, and as we talked about this B2 I saw a picture of, I mean, that's projecting power, right? And so everywhere that we need to go and bring B2s in here and, and bombers and C-130s, that's projecting power of where our nation needs it, when they need it. Uh, building airmen, that is at the core of what we do, right? And so as you, you take an 18 to 22 year old uh, young man or young woman and, and you raise them to be a little bit of an adult and then you supervise a handful of people and you just make them great Americans and great leaders. And, and we have that baked into the core of being our uh, being airmen and being there in the Air Force, right? whether that's the Airman, NCO, Senior NCO, or even Officer Corps. Uh, so, you know, building airmen, projecting power, and then supporting our partners, right? And so there's no better partners than the POAF and what you guys do here. Um, again, whether it's up in the tower, which was absolutely terrific to see the just the, the synergy and the synchronization. Um, you know, everywhere I stepped throughout this visit today, I just saw a great partnership with the POAF and, you know, a lot of wins from um, and CE and construction and, you know, and even our local nationals, uh, you know, where we'll have one or two airmen, but then, you know, the core are incredible Portuguese Azorians that sit there and, and partner with us and help us get the mission accomplished. And that's what supporting partners is all about. That, that's wonderful to hear you say that. I mean, we are proud uh, to have a power projection platform and, and see aircraft like the B-2 come through. Uh, it, it's wonderful and to be part of that mission is, is, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're proud of saying that we help develop culturally sensitive airmen uh, living in the community and, and showing them what a different culture is like, but our values are the same, our ethics are the same. We believe in the same type of, uh, of values and so uh, that's wonderful and it's great to hear those things. We, we're, we're happy that you're happy and uh, we're proud to, to serve and be, and be part of this team. Uh, we are the tip of the spear when it comes to international partnerships and um, we're good with that. In terms of uh, recently the U.S. Air Force has also updated its mission statement to fly, fight and win air power uh, anytime, anywhere. Can you tell us, talk to us a little bit about that? Tell us what you think or how you see the 86th uh, falling in with that, uh, with that mission statement. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the Chief's new release of uh, the mission, you know, Fly, Fight and Win, uh, it's, it's so simple but it, and yet so powerful, right? And it's eloquent in, in a lot of what we do as airmen. And so a lot of times you're like, well, I don't fly. Well, yeah, you do, right? I mean, there is a, you know, I, I always laugh and in, in it's a big circle of, of life that, that we are able to produce air power, to be able to fly, to be able to fight, to be able to win. And so we connect from an 86 airlift wing or a 65th perspective in all of those. And so again, an airplane, airplane can't fly without maintenance and you can't have maintenance if you don't have a base and you can't fly an airplane without fuel, right? So there's a piece of that. Now, whatever end you think the end of the pointy end of the spear is, it's agnostic, right? To be able to fly, we all fly, we all fight. When our country calls upon us to protect the de uh, democratic principles across the globe, whether in wartime or in peace, we're gonna go fight, right? And, you know, and ultimately we gotta win, right? There's, it's a binary system. You're either a winner or you're a loser and we're not gonna lose. And so being able to fly, fight and win, um, again, at our nation's calling, and that's part of the, the incredible strategic importance of uh, lodges is being able to say, hey, something happens in Africa. Okay, guess what? To get to Africa from the US, you need to come through lodges. You gotta get fuel, you gotta, you know, you gotta get weapons, you gotta arm up, you gotta do what you need to do, right? Prepare, Whereas crew ready. rest, get ready to go, and then in, in you go, right? Whether that's in Iraq, whether it's in Africa, whether it's in Europe. Right, and you know, European airspaces and bases and 
over flight, uh, we're running out of space, right? And so there's a lot of uh, bases are shrinking, so it's less and less. And so being able to, to fly flight win anywhere, anytime uh, is very important. And so, uh, again, that's where I see the 86, whether it's at Ramstein, whether it's at Marone, or whether it's at Lodges, you know, we need all three. Awesome. I, I like to think we our motto kind of fits in directly with it, 6-5 in the fight. Uh, Absolutely. And you'll see that day in and day out every time you come out to lodges. Uh, General, you've been uh, boots on the ground for just over 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you've had some very intense immersions here from yesterday and today. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what you saw, what highlights, right. what, what, sticks in, uh, what sticks in your mind? Yeah, I, I got to say, uh, you know, starting off, my favorite part was... Um, landing in the LZ, right, a bi-directional LZ, and, and you want to, back to your point, 6-5 in the fight, being able to put an LZ here <clears throat> to give training to uh, C-130s and other airplanes is, is just awesome, and uh, and got to have a great lunch with General Perea and, and the team, and you have a, a wonderful uh, one-star uh, that's here that's absolutely an incredible partner, and so he is... Uh, I really like him a lot, and I really like where he's going and how he's leading his team. And you know, he kind of laid out their mission set, which is an incredible mission set in the PR. Um, and so having him, you know, a little bit at the helm with Tammy is just awesome. And so, you know, that's it makes it a lot easier within as you start to peel back the onion and the complexity of the 65th. But then, as I as I mentioned before, everywhere we went, the 65th is just, there was excited people. You have the most amazing views, the most incredible pastries, uh, the the beef and the food. And I'm like, I am positive it's about 10 pounds. And uh, so I gotta do some more running, but yeah, it has been top to bottom. The best visit I've had. Uh, love the airmen and the excitement in the air of just, you know, we give you a complex issues here. Complex, salt air. You know, rusting, every, everything's rusting as fast as you can fix it. You know, not enough resources, not enough time, and our airmen are uh, adaptable, innovative. And when I say airmen, I mean not only in military uniform, but outside, right? Because we have just as many local nationals, we have just as many GS that are just getting after it. And so watching the excitement and the energy here has best, just been terrific. Well, hopefully, hopefully it'll uh, mean more visits from you yeah. and your team. Uh, we'd love to see you out here more often, and there's there's lots of stuff to see at Lodges. Absolutely. Uh, and so we, we'd be happy to, to have you and host you again. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with the uh, with the folks, General? Anything? Uh, that, uh, no, I you know I um I just thank you. It, it is a it is an honor, uh, you know, to be down here to visit. Um, you know, I sleep easy at night because I know you have great leaders. Uh, both airmen, NCOs, senior NCOs, and officers uh, leading leading the great fight down here. Um, you're a critical component of the 86 Airlift Wing, and uh, I'm humbled to be serving beside you. Uh, make sure to call home because I know moms and dads, brothers and sisters miss you and love you, and uh, just keep taking care of each other, and that's what it's all about. General, thank you for joining us thank in the you. cockpit today. Well, that's our flight. Thank you for joining us. We're getting ready for landing. Stay tuned for our next flight. Stay safe.